Thank you very much, Biatni. Thank you very much to all of you, the scientific economy, to have me here on this uh, really amazing podium. So for the next basically 12 to 13 minutes, I just want to address one question, and this will be, do we st still need veneering ceramic, or can we in these days achieve final results, final aesthetic results, using just monolithic reconstructions? So to kind of address this a little more with pictures and in details, I want to share with you one case that we did some years ago. And um, in this case, it's a quite a complex case that you will see hopefully in the next seconds here. The patients, after many years of wearing removable reconstructions, decided finally he wanted to move on to something fixed. After getting close to his retirement, he, he really wanted to take the best out of his lifetime. So you can see what we did for him as a like we call it long-term provisional, we delivered this um, reconstruction based on a chrome cobalt framework, occlusionally uh, screw retained, as you can see. And I think we established a, a very decent aesthetic result, also in the positioning of the teeth. But as you can you know, imagine the topping of working here with acrylic teeth or working with composite, uh, we are lacking a little bit of stability. And uh, what I want to show you in the next slide is basically what happened only after six months of time. So not only that he fractured the framework by itself, he also fractured the, we call it veneering, it's, it's not ceramic, it's composite in this case, but he just fractured his veneering part of this reconstruction. So is this something that we just face as a single problem? Is that something that we address in our daily routine? Is that something that you, and hopefully not me by myself, see every day as an unfortunately routine? Um, there is some very nice literature out with an eight-year follow-up by Mertens, and you can see that especially those type of reconstruction, full-arch reconstructions,